Hello and welcome to another CLAD preparation video on LabVIEW Advantage. We are continuing with the daily CLAD problems. Please pause, scroll or mute if necessary to understand the problem and then resume when ready. Let's begin. What is the value of iteration count following execution of the VI? Since there is a forward feedback loop over there into towards the right direction and it is initialized with the false value, that means the initialized state is going to execute at least twice because the true value will be fed to the second iteration making it go to the idle. So in the idle case, the idle case is going to run twice. The main reason is because after two iteration, the shift register start time value is going to be 200 milliseconds and in the second iteration of the idle case, it will be 300 milliseconds, which is going to make it go to the acquire state. And when it, it goes to the acquire state, the acquire state is going to run for three iteration because in the first iteration, uh, the feedback value is configured to zero that means after three iteration it will be equal to three then it will go to the finalize that means the initialized state will execute twice idle twice acquire thrice and then the finalize once so the answer is b eight Please like, share and comment on this video and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for future LabVIEW videos. I'll see you next on the another CLAD preparation video.